Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Matt Preston here, Built Prado. Today we're doing alternator change, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, we've got the new one here already on the bonnet that we bought online for about 300, no, 350 bucks from Retco. So they're not exactly cheap, but if you do buy them online on eBay, they're anywhere from about 160 to 360. So the price range is quite crazy. Um, but the advantage of buying at Repco was that you can go in the store and buy it straight away off the shelf. You don't have to wait five days. Um, and obviously, you know, that's good. That means you can get your car back on the road. So, um, we're going to swap this out now, guys. And I'll show you how to do it. Oh, yeah, don't mind this, guys. I'm just um, charging up my battery because it went flat because of the alternator. So, um, yeah, just don't mind that. That'll be in the background on its thing. Okay, so if you come in here, pretty much that top bolt on top of the alternator, which is this one here. This one here, we're going to be swapping over, we're going to be loosening off first, and then we're going to be removing, there's a plug at the back, and if you look at the one up here, you can actually see it. It's that little black thing at the top. Yeah, there you go, right in the center there. That's where the plug's going to come out of. And it's literally just here, I'm touching it there. Oh, there you go, you can see it. So we're going to pull that plug out as well. Okay, so once this is loose and you're taking the plug off, what you want to do is, um, there's a bolt just under here, for me, it's behind this wire. Um, that you can just, I'm literally touching my finger now, but pretty much it's the adjuster that puts it back and forth. So you undo that, and then it will allow it to like swing freely like that. And then I've literally just taken this belt off. That was on there, swung it back in and the belt popped off. So now you undo this bolt fully, and it should just sort of slide out and come out all together. Okay guys, so we've got it out fully. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty open in there. And look, this is the side by side comparison. So uh, we think this one's roughly four years or over older. Um, this is a Toyota one. And as you can see, they look pretty much identical. I mean, this is black and this one was this one silver. Um, but as you can see, it's pretty much the exact same thing. And then, yeah, you can see the plug I was talking about at the back there. So now we're gonna bolt the new one in and hopefully it's a nice speedy process. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is taking a long time. It's taken like three hours for me to get the alternator out. And then we ran into some troubles with some wires. Um, now it's almost fully back in. I'm gonna show you guys where we're at. I'm not gonna bull crap anything. This is how long it's actually taken us to do. So now it's in as you can see, um, but I just need to tension it. Like right now it can still move back and forth. And if you look carefully, like where that red tape is there, the white wire wasn't connected and it ran fine without it apparently. But we did a bit of a dodgy, but it's soldered and connected it back together now, which is good. Um, and as you can see, I've connected the earth as well, which is that little silver nut there. But now I'm going to go underneath and tension it back out because right now this isn't tension. And then we'll do the top bolt back up and it should be fixed in place, ready to go. And I can't even test it out because my battery is flat, as you can see. So tomorrow, which you'll hopefully see in this video, um, we'll start it up and hopefully it starts no worries. All right, she's running, alternator, working hard, so I think that is a success. Okay guys, alternator is fully installed. Now remember, when you're doing this yourself, what you will end up needing is your socket sort of sizes, a 14, a 12 and a 10, okay? And I just had a little sort of half one like this, and then just a little standard one, a little standard end like that. So that's how I got it in at least. Um, but that was a struggle. Okay guys, so a quick run over when you install it, you pretty much lift it up, put it back in, and then we just hammered it up a little bit and got this main bolt in to support the weight, so then it was in. And then, once you've done that, you're pretty much good to plug the plug in and put this little um, earth cable uh, back on with the little nut there. Um, and then once that's all on, you can go down here um, and get your, uh, your adjuster on. So that nut there is one of the adjusters and the other one is literally just behind here. You can't see the wires in the way. Put that one on, adjust it. And before you do that, sorry, make sure the, the belt is on correctly on the back and then adjust that and tighten up. And then once that's all done, you can then tighten the rest of this top bolt on to security. And then it should be sorted like this one. Make sure that that's all good and tight there. And then you're done. Okay guys, hopefully that gives you a rough guide on how to do it. There is another guy who's done this on YouTube and he did it a little bit differently. Um, 
he took out an extra piece um, at the bottom of the alternator but I didn't actually have to do it in this one so hopefully you're the same that can just save you a bit of time there taking out another piece that you don't have to take out so hopefully that helps you guys have any dra dramas let me know and I'll try and message you back uh, but until next time guys thanks for watching uh, like and subscribe we'll catch you guys next time on Built Prado